Welcome to the Cambridge Financial Podcast with Bert Salazar, CEO at Cambridge Financial Partners, LLC. This podcast is all about tax-preferred retirement planning, economics, financial risk management, and achieving a risk-free and successful financial life. Now, your host, Bert Salazar. Bert Salazar. Bert Salazar. Hey, good day, everyone. Welcome to the Bert Salazar Retirement Show. My name is Bert Salazar, and I'm going to be the host, uh, like I am every single week for each and every one of you. Uh, this is episode 154, uh, and the title for this epi- for episode is The Perfect Retirement Storm is Upon Us. So there's a lot that we need to talk about, so I'm going to get going right away. Uh, Because at the end of the day, things are changing very, very rapidly uh, in today's uh, economic environment. So it's important that all of you and all of us, you know, pay attention as to what's going on around us in order to make certain that we can, you know, make the right decisions at the right time and for the right reasons in order to minimize all of those potential liabilities while we maximize all the benefits that each and every one of us, each and every one of you uh, deserve actually not only for you but also for your family uh, for your family as well so uh, once again I'm excited to be here and um, you know this is a podcast uh, in where you know as a retirement uh, strategist and a tax planner you know I, I specialize in changing financial lives uh, one at a time one day at a time one client at a time so you know I'm here to provide you with information but also remember that uh, information without education always, always leads to failure. So along the way, not only do I provide information, but I I also provide you with adequate education uh, that you can take with you and implement. And for those of you that may want to reach out to me, uh, obviously, I'll give you my information at the end of the podcast. And um, I want to thank all of you that are reaching out to me on an ongoing basis, pretty much on a weekly basis. So I appreciate that very much. Now, um, the perfect retirement um, storm or the per- perfect storm is, is upon us. And it is upon us and it's accelerating at a very high rate. And one of the things that I kind of, you know, took a look at last week as I was preparing to do this uh, podcast, I, you know, kind of look at the economy. I looked at it from a different perspective on, uh, that we'll discuss in the next few minutes. Um, But I also came to to realize something that I think is very important. And I I also feel that the sooner that, you know, each and every one of you gets to realize this, uh, the better off you're going to be not only now, but also in the future. And uh, my realization uh, is that, you know, as people, I think it is time to acknowledge that we're being led by dangerous imbeciles. Now, Uh, That's a very deep statement from my part because, uh, you know, I have seen uh, I'll be turning 65 next month. So I will be going around the sun 65 times in July of uh, 2021. So I'm excited about that. It's a a new beginning uh, like every year uh, is. Uh, But one of the things that I have realized and noticed over the years, and I don't care if you're a Republican or a Democrat, is that in many different ways we're being led by by imbeciles and and not only are they imbeciles but they're dangerous imbeciles now if you're able to understand that from a financial and economic perspective uh, then that would be a very good beginning not only for you but also for your family as well now the other uh, caveat that i want to make in this uh, podcast um and and I'll do that disclaimer right away, is that, you know, I'm a libertarian, so I'm not a Republican, I'm not a Democrat. Uh, But I I would argue that if you're a Republican or a Democrat, uh, you're you're both a financial and a political puppet. Let me repeat that again. If you're a Republican or a Democrat, you're both a financial and a political puppet. See, the reason for that is that the powers above are the puppeteers. So now, what is it that we're seeing um, out in the news? Uh, We're we're hearing quite a bit about uh, critical race theory, CRT, which is something that we had never heard of before, Uh, ethnic separation, uh, victimhood, and all of these things that we're seeing uh, going around and being taught in schools 
um, actually hinders personal and family growth because the, the, the people at the very top that are kind of managing, they're the puppeteers and we're the puppets, uh, they want us to keep thinking about having that microscopic thinking approach uh, because when we do that, it actually tranches uh, evolution and growth. So the vast majority of politicians, and I would argue that I would rather have mathematicians than politicians in power, but that's going to be very difficult to overcome. You know, they want us to be fighting amongst each other. They want us to, to be, you know, separated by ethnic separation and victimhood and, and critical race uh, theory. And listen, I'm a Cuban-American. I came to this country when I was 14 years old. Uh, so I've been here most of my life anyways, but I lived in a communist uh, country and, and in a very dangerous uh, dictatorship. So they want us to keep going at each other because while we spend time doing that, we're not thinking. We're not thinking critically. Uh, we don't have the ability uh, to look at our financial world, our economic world, our political world uh, through a telescope as opposed to a microscope. So keep that in the back of your mind that if you're a Republican or a Democrat, you're more than likely both a financial and, an, and a political puppet uh, for uh, the powers that be from, from that perspective. So um, now everything that I'm talking about is happening in 2021. Take a look at what is happening in 2021, especially as of January 1. Now. Let's talk a little bit about taxation. Let's talk a little bit about inflation and most important currency devaluation that we're now seeing at a very, very high and fast pace when it comes to the economics of the United States of America. Now, I'll tell you this, uh, the Biden tax plan will hinder econo economic growth while diminishing retirement success. And there are many, many reasons why that is happening. See, when you start um, giving up money uh, to everyone, whether somebody needs it or not, and you start increasing taxes, and you know we'll talk a little bit about that in the next few minutes, few minutes as well. Yeah, you're actually hindering economic growth because you're getting between economic growth and, and the American people, and that's uh, that's diminishing uh, retirement success, not only for those that may be retiring and retiring in the next five to ten years, but for many of you that are currently retired and you are now on a fixed income format. Now, uh, to offset the additional tax liabilities, um, you know, because of the increase of taxation and inflation and currency devaluation, you will need to invade additional capital during retirement. Now, so that means that living a long life uh, will become a detriment to you know, our American society, because we keep telling everyone that people are living a lot longer today than ever before, because, you know, what used to kill us uh, 30, 40 years ago is no longer doing that. But if you're not going to live a long life, and now you have to worry about added taxation, added inflation, which is, by the way, it's an added tax. Uh, and one of the things that is important to understand is that inflation is not tax deductible. I mean, I went to Gas Up uh, on Saturday with my wife, and I used to fill up my 325i uh, BMW with about $33 um, uh, uh, for a full tank of gas. And uh, this past weekend, it cost me $46. Now, that's a tremendous increase, and that's a tax, whether you want to look at it or not. Um, and then we actually went to Whole Foods uh, to do our weekly grocery shopping. And we started to see again, you know, the price of food is creeping up and creeping up and creeping up and it's getting higher and higher. Now, you may not notice it, um, although it, whomever does the shopping at your home will definitely see the difference. But it, it, it actually goes up uh, almost on a daily basis. So, you know, it's just like the frog in the pot of water. If you put a, a frog in a, in a pot of water and then you start raising the, the temperature in the water, uh, by the time the frog figures out that uh, it's burning to death, it will be too late. Now, if you take that same pro, uh, uh, frog and you throw her into a boiling uh, pot of water, uh, the second that the frog goes in, uh, it will jump out of the water because it's way too hot and uh, uh, she will notice that. Uh, but if you start raising the, uh, the temperature little by little, 
uh, the frog will actually die without even knowing why she, why that why the frog is dying at that point in time. So the same thing happens to American society. The same 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 thing happens to our economic and political environment that many of us are fa uh, are actually failing to to see and and understand. Now, uh, the other thing is that is not only taxation and inflation, but it's also currency devaluation. See, the printing of the money that we have in the in the U.S. Treasury um, has become a major, major burden for the U.S. economy. You know, we're printing more money than than uh, than we have. So therefore, you know, when you have our, our national debt going through the roof, when you have our our, our liabilities, our unfunded liabilities that are just north of $155 trillion. When you have a national deficit that is over $3 trillion uh, for the first time in history, the only way we're going to be able to, to take, uh, take a hold of all that and be able to, to make ends meet is by printing more and more money. The challenge is that when the U.S. Treasury prints more and more money, guess what? The money that you already have in your account is worth a lot less. Uh, every single day. So uh, those things are very, very important. Uh, and that is why it is hindering retirement success, because not only do we need more money out of our um, out of our retirement accounts in order to offset the tax liabilities and the inflation liabilities, but most important, we need more money in order to offset and minimize uh, the the increase in the valuation of the U.S. currency, which is so critical nowadays. Now, um, you know, you always hear now under the Biden administration and the new tax plan that, you know, he's not going to be raising taxes or his administration is not going to raise taxes to, to anyone that makes less than $400,000 a year. So the $400,000, now this is my feeling of this, the $400,000 uh, exclusive tax increase for the upper middle class and the wealthy is actually bullshit. And the reason why it is bullshit is because there are not enough of them to go around to be able to offset the major tax liabilities and the major debt um, that we have in this country. So uh, for those of you that feel that you're going to be fine from a taxable standpoint, um, obviously, you're totally um, uh, erroneous uh, from that perspective, and you better pay attention to that. So, um, it's also remember that inflation rates are now the highest uh, since 2008. So, when you take a look at gas prices, food prices, energy prices, uh, they have increased dramatically since January of 2021. I mean, there was a point in time that you know, we were energy independent in the United States. Now the shutdown of our pipeline has also increased the price of fuel uh, due to the the cost of uh, what is known as future contracts, which is uh, oil companies and, um, and they buy uh, future contracts of what the price of a barrel may be worth, you know, uh, three months from now, six months from now, uh, nine months from now, a year from now. So they're actually making a bet on those future contracts. And because of the fact that the prices are going up so rapidly, then the price of the future contracts is also going up. And therefore, uh, the large companies are going to have to pass that additional cost and that additional tax uh, to the consumers, which is each and every one of us from that perspective. perspective. Now, uh, current currency devaluation by political imbeciles and demagogues have actually applied tremendous pressure to our fiat dollar. Now, as you know, the U.S. dollar became a fiat, became a fiat dollar in 1971 after, uh, after it was totally separated from the gold standard. So now the reason why it is a fiat, a fiat dollar, and that's F-I-A-T, a fiat dollar, is because it has no backing other than the uh, the, the, the pledging of the U.S. government that uh, the government will actually pay uh, the value of that dollar. So uh, in reality, it has very little value. It's a fiat currency uh, and it's worthless from that perspective. Now, uh, think of it this way. And this is, I'm just going to put it to the very basic terms uh, so all of us can understand it simply. 
one dollar in 2020 can only purchase 94 cents of goods and services today now that's pretty that's pretty scary folks let me repeat that one more time one dollar in 2020 can only purchase 94 cents of goods and services in 2021 so far in the year and and the reason for that is that a inflation is now going through the roof and it's going to get worse by the way but most important in, in inflation is not tax deductible so in order for you to stay ahead of inflation your dollar has to earn a rate of return equal to that inflation rate uh, on a net basis so that means that you have to add the inflation rate and on top of that add your personal tax rate and we when you deduct both uh, you should have a dollar left uh, in your pocket if you have anything less than that then that means that you're losing purchasing power every single day of your life now that brings another point and the reason is that because of what uh, these dangerous uh, imbeciles are doing to our economy, what they're doing to our country, and what is happening with taxation, inflation, currency devaluation in the United States of America and throughout the world. You know, one of the things that we're starting to see now is that the rise of cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin, have accelerated the depreciation of centralized uh, currencies, including the US dollar. Now I'll repeat that again. The rise of cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin, because Bitcoin is part of a cryptocurrency. It is the largest coin in the crypto world. Uh, have actually accelerated the depreciation of centralized currencies, including the US dollars. Um, and, and the question is, well, why is that happening, Bert? And the reason is simple. Uh, the people don't trust governments anymore. Uh, so the American people are not trusting the U.S. government. Uh, the world uh, governments are, are not being trusted by their independent people. And the people are looking for a different type of currency that they can control. Instead of the few controlling the masses and controlling the many, when you get into cryptocurrency, now the many are controlling their own destiny, and this is something that all of you need to understand. One caveat I can tell you is that cryptocurrencies are here to stay. They're getting more and more powerful every day, and uh, they're going to be part of the new world order, which I'll talk about in the next uh, few seconds, but it's something that you need to pay attention to. And if you're not paying attention to it, uh, you're missing uh, more than likely the biggest transfer of economic world and economic uh, wealth that the world has ever known. So even even compared to the industrial revolution, uh, it doesn't even come close. So that's important that you need to take a look at. Another major problem that I see uh, coming down the pike when it comes to you know what is happening from an economic from an economic standpoint is that you know real estate and stock markets are at an all-time high now what does that what does that tell you well what goes up must come down and it will do so with a vengeance uh, and, and remember when it comes to making financial decisions and and adhering to different uh, theories that you may have about money and and finances and so forth uh, you must remember that in the world of economics, sometimes you win, sometimes you learn. So um, it's, it's time to start learning and start taking control of your individual uh, personal economy if you want to succeed in this uh, fast approaching and changing world that all of us have to deal with. So uh, to finalize this podcast, uh, let me reflect a little bit. I'm not going to go into a lot of details because I've given you quite a, quite a bit of uh, food for thought. But, you know, how do we fight this uh, perfect storm? I mean, what are some of the things that we ought to be doing as consumers, or as investors, as, you know, either future and or present retirees? What are some of the things that we ought to be considering as we start moving into this new world? Well, uh, number one, I would tell you to take control of your personal and financial life. 
uh, if you're not having these types of discussions uh, with your current financial advisor, um, then you need a new financial advisor because if he or she is not having these discussions with you, uh, then they're probably making, uh, they're probably uh, too busy making money off of you as opposed to giving you uh, financial education and advice. Um, two, I can, um, I can tell you that it's important for you to concentrate on tax-free retirement income and there are many different sources of retirement income that you can consider. Um, obviously, you should take a look at your Roth IRAs, your Roth 401ks, uh, your municipal bond funds up to a certain level. Uh, you should consider uh, permanent life insurance under uh, IRS code 7702, which is one of the best um, uh, supplementary retirement plans that you can find in the marketplace. Uh, you also need to uh, consider uh, Social Security taxation and how to reduce and or eliminate uh, your Social Security taxes in the very near future. So concentrating on tax-free retirement income uh, will be paramount because if you're able to create tax-free income in the future, then at least um, you have a, re a, re a remedy to, to be able to fight the, the increase uh, of taxes as we are now seeing and we will see uh, for many, many years to come. Um, another area that I would encourage all of you to look at is create, creating guaranteed income for life because what is happening is that because you now have to take more and more money out of your retirement assets in order to offset the cost of taxes, the cost of inflation, and the cost of currency devaluation, uh, that means that you're going to be accelerating the depreciation of all the assets and the retirement assets that you have. And, you know, you're probably more than likely going to run out of money before you run out of life especially since now people are living a lot longer a lot longer than today and that then that will become a major major issue for you and your family as you get uh, to the to the uh, slow go years and the no go years of your financial life so if you're able to set uh, to set a number of your retirement assets as guaranteed income you know only to to provide you with the basics of you know, keeping up with your um, uh, with your uh, uh, retirement needs, uh, goals, and objectives, and your retirement strategies. And by the same token, you have the ability to increase uh, those income potentials on a guaranteed basis for the rest of your life, along with the fact that those uh, bases uh, should be on a tax-free, um, uh, uh, from that perspective, on a tax-free norm. Uh, then now you're doing uh, something really, really good, not only for you, but also for your family as well. And then obviously, uh, you need to think about pension maximization. You know, if you start taking a lot of money out of your retirement assets, uh, what's going to happen to your surviving spouse or your significant daughter once you pass away? Is he or she going to have enough money to take them to the promised land? More than likely, uh, they're not. So, uh, they're going to be in poverty. That means that they're going to be uh, have no choice but to live way below their their financial means, and that's going to be a sad storm because that's not what you intended to when both of you decide to retire. You know, perhaps 20, 25, 30 years earlier. So that's something that you need to pay attention to. Um, another uh, point that I would like to make, and this would be, let me see, one, two, three. This would be the fourth point is that it's important that you start to consider taking a portion of your retirement assets and put that money into the new world uh, and the new world order, uh, economic uh, world, which is uh, what is known as cryptonomics. So if, you're, if you understand crypto at all, uh, I have actually put out a number of videos that you can find or you can send me an email and I'll send those videos to you. And I have done a couple of podcasts along those lines. Uh, start to get immersed in the crypto world because it's going to be now it's very volatile because it's a new uh, world order. But by the same token, there's a tremendous amount of potential for growth. And there's a potential for you to be able to, to take a small portion of your assets, depending on your age, 
uh, and try to stay ahead of inflation uh, many times over uh, if you invested in the right uh, potential vehicles and so forth. So. Um, once again, number one, take control of your personal financial life. Number two, concentrate on tax-free return and income. Uh, number three, uh, make sure that that, that income that you're receiving, that retirement income, will be in guaranteed income for life. Number four, consider pension maximization. Uh, and number five, so there's actually five points that I wanted to share with you. Uh, place a portion of your retirement assets in the new world order of cryptonomy uh, because that is something that is uh, here to stay and it will be the future for all of us um, as we move forward uh, in the 21st century so uh, for those of you that may want to reach out to me please feel free to do so uh, you can call me at area code 786-766-1042 uh, you can also send me an email at bert b-e-r-t at bertsalazar.com, B-E-R-T-S-A-L-A-Z-A-R.com. Uh, and always remember that as a tax planner and a retirement strategist, um, my, go my, my goal for you and for your family is to kind of help you um, see the world totally different because if I can help you change the way that you see things, the things that you will see uh, will also change in the near future. So um, I hope you enjoyed this podcast today. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next few days, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you, and have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.